Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up with eerie flash forwards. Coronation Street has alluded to Stephen Reed's protracted storyline ending on Monday night, October 9th. The soap opera began a momentous week with flash-forward scenes showing Carla Barlow, Sarah Platt Barlow, and Michael Bailey being questioned in a police interrogation room. All three of them were depicted in varying degrees of anxiety and the current timeline. Carla informed Peter Barlow that she would heed the police's advice and even extend her apologies to Stephen in order to prevent him from believing the authorities are looking into him. Carla's strategy had Peter on edge and he was determined to address the situation on his own. Tim and Sally, meantime, were hard at work organizing a romantic evening for their anniversary, when Stephen learned from Brian Packham that the canal where he had deposited one of the corpses several months prior would be subject to dredging. It gave him a scare. At the plant, Carla carried out her plan to confuse Stephen and the police by apologizing to him in front of the employees and claiming to have realized that Rufus must have given her an LSD spike, she apologized, and a startled Stephen. Accepted, telling her there was no use holding grudges. After that, Carla was seen talking to a detective and was told to keep quiet while Stephen was being looked into, while Roy and Sarah acknowledged that it was odd to witness Carla make such a dramatic about face. Other residents of Weatherfield suspected something was wrong with Stephen. When Carla saw Jenny preparing to travel to Thailand with Stephen, she could no longer bear to keep the secret and spilled the beans about all the shady things Stephen had been up to at the plant Jenny sought. To dismiss Carla's worries at first, but when Carla questioned why Stephen wouldn't have told her about the LSD charge, Jenny became suspicious, Carla pleaded, please don't travel to Thailand and consider what I said, Tim who had followed Stephen to the same location earlier this month, decided to conduct his own research after hearing Brian Packham discussing Stephen's interest in the canal with Peter. After poking around in the canal with an improvised spear, Tim eventually discovered a corpse. Regretfully, he was unable to reach the police due to poor phone reception. Stephen had obviously followed Tim as he slid into the back seat of his car while he struggled on the phone. Faking to have been looking at Brian's cleanup project, Stephen asked to be driven back into town in a cab. Stephen took off his tie and choked Tim after realizing that Tim was taking them to the police station. Tim was able to break free and flee for his life, but when he came to a dead end, Stephen struck him unconscious with a pipe. Tim was pushed into the boot of Stephen's taxi after he had bound and tied him. He was about to set fire to the cab when he heard a helicopter taking off, so he quickly fled. The next scene showed Stephen driving another cab back over the cobbles. Jenny decided not to tell him about Carla's previous warning as he caught up with her. When Stephen proposed that they extend their trip to the next evening, Jenny was forced to wait. Jenny's request to delay their departure for at least a month gave Stephen a hint that something wasn't right. After being left on his own, Stephen phoned the airline and made a menacing plan change, moving the flight to the next day and he would now be on his own journey. I end the shocking conclusion of the evening. It was revealed that the police had indeed received Tim's call and found the body in the canal. But what is happening to Tim? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.